guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori, and today I have a Dollar Tree haul for ya. Uh, don't mind me, I am absolutely fried today. Oh, today, yesterday was the first nice day that we've had. And so I went, ooh, went to go see, sorry, coffee. I just spilled it on myself. But today's coffee is uh, Dunkin' Donuts vanilla in a little travel cup because I had to run my errands this morning. Anyway, I went to see my cousin at 1015 play softball yesterday and I didn't put sunblock on. And I'm normally really good about it, but I'm like, oh, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm only gonna be out here for an hour. Yeah, no. So, I'm fine. I'm just red. Um, yeah. I'm so pale. It'll, you know, it'll fade in a day or two and then I will remember my sunblock. Look at my nose. <laughs> and I already have sun damage, so this was a very bad plan for me. I'm gonna yell at myself. All right, first off, I want to say, hey. Oh, it's Mr. Alex. I know, baby. They love to just sit with me. This is my boy. He is Alex, if you've forgotten or you're new to my channel because we do have a lot of new subscribers. Alex is a rescue. He's, uh, what they think about three, maybe four years old. He was on the streets and my niece, her, a teacher she works with, uh, daughter and son and daughter-in-law here in Columbus, rescued him and got him fixed and then I adopted him a year ago, almost a year and a half. It was February of 2018. And then my other old man is sitting by the door. He went out, Debbie. He's not coming. He may come, they may pop in a minute. Uh, that's my Alex. I'm like, I wanna say welcome everybody new. We've got a lot of subscribers and I hope you've entered the giveaway for the Performance Nut Butter. It's really good and it's good for you, especially if you follow my keto. Um, here's Wellington over here. Maybe he'll come up. My baby. Um, if you follow keto light, uh, diet or lifestyle. It's really good for you. It's very clean. Um, I will try to remember to link the um, Put the link in the description box below so you have to click that down arrow under my video and there will be a link in there You have to be a subscriber and you need to click on it And I think there's like four days left to enter and it's a $30 value and the company will send it directly to you So I just wanted to say that the other thing I want to talk about real quick are these um, boards that I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm, I will say, I mean, they're not the best, like <laughs> the little thing just fell off, but I don't, you don't have to do that. You can put these on like a fit frame stand, lean them, or I could just glue back the, screw it back in. Anyway, I think these are great. The, some people had mentioned that when you put the letters in, you get a hole, which you do, but it closes up. It's foam. I will tell you that I bought three of them. Actually, I bought four and I gave one away. But to have enough letters to do the things I want to do. So I have three, which I can make multiple boards. I have one board that's black and two are gray. The black one is at work. And here are the gray ones. And I'm still enjoying it immensely. I change up my little saying at work every couple weeks and people are getting a kick out of it. Boys, why do they want to start wrestling every time I do a video? And they're going to get loud here in a minute. So I threw something at them to separate them. Okay, let's get into our haul. It's nothing too crazy. Um, I'm not really finding a lot of new stuff, but I'm picking up things I need for a trip I have coming up. Um, not for a trip, but I grabbed a lighter. I like these little Cricut lighters for candles. So I grabbed another one of those. Um, I saw these, and if you see them at their store, look how vibrant that is. And these are like plasticky rubber, and they have the coin top. They're for sunglasses. Now, I don't, I have sunglasses, but they're prescription, and they're, they wouldn't fit in here. But what I'm gonna use this one for is when I travel for my journal, I'm gonna throw some pens in here. Um, just cause I think it's pretty and it'll match my mood. But I'm gonna put pens down in there and then this will slide right into my journal. 
and hold it in place. So that's what I'm using it for. They had tons of flamingos and beach scenes, but I just love this toucan. And I love how vibrant the colors were. So I grabbed that one for $1. Who can beat that? Then I picked up for my bedroom, I feel this is very boho. It's ribbon and you get two yards. It's burlap ribbon, you get two yards and they had different patterns, but I like this one or these two. And I just think they go with all the wicker that I have going on in my room. Sorry, I'm a little sore today. All the wicker I have going on and so I grabbed two of those. I have no idea what I'm gonna use them for, but they'll match. Um, I'm going to leave all my travel stuff in, together so I can sh tell you what I got or show you. Oh, I found some of this to try. I've not tried this brand, Cafe Roma. I don't care for the Cafe Fresca. Is that what it is that they have normally? But this is something different. And this is caramel and it is sugar free. So I grab it to try with my iced coffee. Um, I tend to not make flavored iced coffee so that I can flavor it however I want. I'm so excited. My store finally got these socks. The bunnies, oh, aren't they adorable? And the cat. And I'll wear these. These will be for me. I'll wear them in the winter time. But look at these socks. First of all, they're polka dots, but then there's a pink cat on these and the bunny. And these are women size five to nine. And I will tell you, I wear an eight and a half, nine. And if my foot was any bigger, I would not buy these. Unless you have a narrow foot. So I have a wide foot and these just fit me. I think if my foot was any bigger, they would be uncomfortable. Um, so I grabbed these just for fun because I enjoy fun socks. So I grabbed two pair of those and these come with one pair. So I did grab those. I picked up I'm obsessed with these glasses and I only buy one of this shape. I've got Christmas, I have the lemons, I have, I'll have to show you all the ones I have, the blue with the paisley and then I have this one. So this is a replacement. I had purchased one of these last year and while doing dishes, um, I was rinsing it off on a holiday Monday back in February or March and the bottom broke off and sliced my finger and I ended up at the hospital and got five stitches on my little pinky. <laughs> I've had a rough year. Um, but I love these. They're very heavy on the bottom and that's where it sheared off was that bottom. I don't I don't know. I'm just more careful with them. I was just rinsing it. You know, I had it in my hand and I was doing one of these and the bottom fell off and it sliced my finger. So be careful, but I love them. And I like having, a, I'm gonna have a collection of all different, like very shabby chicy. So I grabbed one of those. Um, if you have a Kroger, they tend to sell these for the holidays too. The same size cup. So I grabbed one of those. Oh, I found, and I went, this is a collective haul over a couple days. I went to my yesterday and I found these little coin purses, I think they're called, zipper pouch. But look at this red, white, and blue. Hello, and it's all sparkly. Um, it's just a little zipper coin pouch, but what I use these for specifically in my purse is to hold chapstick, lipstick, earbuds, little things that fall to the bottom of my purse. Not necessarily change. Um, they're great for earbuds, especially the smaller size. Like this size, look at that rainbow. This is great for, to hold your earbuds, um, traveling or just keeping in your purse so they don't get all tangled up is what I do. And like I said, chapstick change, nail clippers, nail file if you get the little ones, all kinds of fun stuff. Change. Um, so I grabbed those two at my store because this is the collection that they had originally. And then when I went this morning to a different Dollar Tree, they had the package of the llamas. And I just grabbed one. Um, with the yellow I love it but if you notice these are all three different sizes so I grabbed this one specifically for um, traveling in my backpack because it's a little larger and it will hold maybe like the little three ounce size of moisturizer and things like that a little bigger but nothing too large and I like to have these little bags in my bigger bag so I can just reach in and grab them and not have to fish around. 
honestly, you could get a carabiner and hook all these together and, you know, have all your little bits and bobs in here and they're all connected together. Or tie a ribbon if that's how you roll. But I grabbed the three that I liked that have nothing to do with each other. And I may share them with my niece or something. I don't know. You never know. But I did grab those. And I'm going to tell you, this is a small haul. Um, I grabbed a pencil holder. And I'll have to take you on a tour when I do my bullet journal tour because I'm getting it moving. I've got a few pages, if that's something you're even interested in. Um, and I have a basket that has pens, markers, and I needed one more cup to show in the for the something I bought in here. So I'm keeping my pencils, my markers, and things separated so they're easier to grab. But I grabbed one of these and it goes with, I picked up two of these. I have not tried these. These are the gel pens by Promax. They're water-based gel ink. And then these are like the pastel, like pastelis, green, purple, orange, pink. And then these are the neons as well I'm thinking yeah these are neon and these are different colors these are one millimeter and gels are fun to write over other colors like if you wanted to hide write over highlighter or something so I grabbed some gel pens for that so I needed I'll put the gel pens in here I just like to keep everything separated because that's what I do I don't know I picked up, so my older cat, he's not eating real good right now. I don't know what's going on with him. I mean, he's fine, but I don't. he's just not eating well. So I grabbed some of this different food to see if he'll like it. He gets right now Purina Beyond. Um, and it's really been good for him. It's not a lot of fillers, but he's not eating it real well. So I'm thinking we're going to try mixing a little bit of this in and see if some junky food will be more to his liking. I don't know. It says helps promote healthy immune system, supports healthy digestion, and helps maintain urinary tract. Now, on the ingredients, it's vegetable, corn, gluten meal. So this is not real good food. Um, but as a treat, I think if I mix it in with his other food, he might eat a little better so we're gonna try mixing a little bit in with that so I just grabbed a bag to try it was a dollar I'm not too concerned um, and then I bought this fabric so they have this at my store I have seen a couple other people hauling it um, I'm gonna tell you right out the gate this is not your best value but if you just need a small piece of fabric to do a craft, then it's perfectly fine. I would not purchase this if you were gonna try to do any type of sewing. Um, it's okay, it's okay. I mean, it's, it's okay. As you can see, you can see straight through it. Um, I got this one because it's red, white, and blue for Stars and Stripes. I thought I could try to make something for the 4th of July or you know summer holiday or something but it's just not it's not great fabric it's okay fabric for crafting if I were to buy anything if I would I would go to a fabric store and use my coupons if I wanted to do a real project like a, a bigger sewing project but this is fine for what it is and I think it's 20 inches by 21 so the beauty is you could buy two of these hot glue or sew them together and use them as a slip cover for a 20 by 20 pillow or stuff it and make a pillow for your couch. I probably won't do that because it's so see-through, but you could. I don't know what I'll make with it, but I just wanted to show you. We had it at my store, so they're starting to carry these little rem. It's more like a remnant. It's not even a fat quarter. I, I don't really know what they would classify this as, but just a scrap, but I liked. I liked it and it's, it's definitely adequate to do crafting with so I picked up that to show you that they had I picked up some Snapple peach tea because I like it I like it behind me is my sheet pillow that needs to get put away 
All right, we have some travel stuff. In a couple weeks, I'm going to Florida, and then next year I'm going to Ireland. So, um, I grabbed one of these bags. I have a couple, but there's a lot of us going, and I thought one extra wouldn't be bad. Um, in Europe especially, they don't really do bags when you shop. You need to bring your own, or you have to pay for shopping bags. So, this one's a nice small one. I mean, it definitely is not going to be good for grocery shopping, but for a little souvenir shopping or walking around, packing something in it for your backpack, because it is, if you can hear it, I don't think it's waterproof, but it probably is water resistant. So it's cute, and it's good to have, and it's small enough to put, and I'm sure you've all seen these, these have been going around. My store, my one store just got them, or I say they just got it, but they could have had them and then run out. I don't know. Um... So yeah, I grabbed one of these. They're nice and handy just to throw in a backpack and to have if you do some impromptu whatevers or need some type of a carrying vessel. So I grabbed one of those. I picked up, and I will take this out of the package and show you. It is a mesh laundry bag. And what I will use this for is the purpose that it is. It's a laundry bag. I will put it in my um, suitcase takes up zero room and it's pretty big and I will store my dirty laundry in this so when I come home it's separated you know I could tell you if you're thinking you're gonna be sweaty stinky you might want a different type of a bag um, but this works perfect for me and you could throw a couple dryer sheets in it just to kind of keep everything fresh and especially when I go to like Ireland next year I will bring one this as well or one of these as well um, to keep everything tidy and separated again just because that's what I do but I think this is perfect it doesn't weigh anything but it's just enough to keep clothing separated when you're traveling so I grabbed one of those then I picked up some shower caps and I grabbed two this is definitely a Dollar Tree brand and we're gonna open these up and see this is Greenbrier it just says shower cap on it and then these are, well, these are also Greenbrier, but they're different, and I've not seen these before at my store. But let's open, we're going to open one of each, and then I'm going to tell you what I use it for. And if I had something, I'll go grab something and show you in a second. But let's open them, and we're going to compare the two, shall we? So this is definitely smaller, but it would work you know, as sort of a shower cap, I would almost say this is like child size, to be honest with you. It's pretty small as far as shower caps go. Um, but there's the elastic. You know, these can also be as bowl covers. I'm just saying. But it's kind of, this one is pretty small. Now we're going to open up one of these and compare them. And I only grabbed two of these. I don't I won't need them. Oh, and this is definitely more plastic. This is like a plastic. This is, all right, I can already tell you out the gate, it's bigger. Yeah, see, much bigger. Um, plastic lined as well, definitely better quality. Look at that pattern, very boho chic. And it has little ruffles, so it's, it's definitely cute, but now I'm going to show you what I'm going to use them for, so one second. Alrighty, I'm back. Shoes. Look at how dirty these shoes are. But I would definitely, I'm going to wash these, but I would definitely take these on vacation to throw on. I love a slide-on shoe. So what I would do with these is you put your shoes in them, in your luggage, before, you know, and look what they do. Keeps the dirt and the shoe yuck inside and protect it. And then I just throw that in my luggage. I don't know that it would work with this one. Maybe we're going to try it. But these are definitely better. These, um, this brand is definitely better. So I may pick up a few more of these because I don't think now for children's shoes I would say this would work 
Maybe if I stuck them sole to sole. No. This is just not going to work. These are too small. Well, maybe. Okay. I was able to squeeze it in there. So it would work. It's just to hold them together, but it's already ripped. But for shoes, flip-flops definitely could go in something like this. But that's what I use these shower caps for, is for my um, shoes, for when I travel. And that way it just keeps my laundry, or my clean clothing clean. And the dirty stuff can get dirty, you know. Keeps it clean, and these are perfect. So this just gets folded up, and they'll get stored with my travel stuff. And when I'm ready to pack, and I'm packing shoes, this is what I'll put them in. Last time I went to Europe, we took, we bought the plastic shower caps, and they worked. They didn't hold up very well. Um, I think I was able to get there, but they ripped when I was taking my shoes out, so I couldn't use them to come home, which is fine, because on the way home, I did laundry anyway. Everything needed to be washed, so I wasn't so worried about it, um, but... And those come, I think, three and five to a, for a dollar, where these are one, but these are reusable, so. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, subscribe if you haven't done so. That really helps me and my channel. It helps me bring you more content, and it lets you know when I have new videos coming out. Thanks for watching, and have a good day. Bye. Shower. Have a good one. Bye.